Our last piece is called Pythagorean triples. Pythagorean triples are whole number groups of numbers that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. If you put them on a right triangle, you would end up with a right triangle. So, for example, let's do this first one, 3, 4, 5. Well, the longest one has to be the hypotenuse. Remember, our Pythagorean theorem is hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared, or c squared equals a squared plus b squared. 5 squared, because that's the longest one, equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. 25 equals 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 gives me 25. So yes, that's a Pythagorean triple. It even works with bigger numbers. Let's try that one right there. 25 being my biggest number, so that's my c squared. A Pythagorean triple. So if the question asks if it's possible to have a right triangle with the following side lengths, all we have to do is check. Do those side lengths satisfy the Pythagorean theorem? Do you have a Pythagorean triple? We're looking for c squared equals a squared plus b squared, or the hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared. My hypotenuse is always the longest side. Let's put them into the formula. Let's square all those numbers. Keeping in mind, it's important that we square them before we add them. Now let's add them. Yeah, both sides are the same. We do have a Pythagorean triplet. These numbers will give me a right triangle. Let's try with the next set. Longest side is 28. Uh-oh, that one is not a Pythagorean triple. These numbers, while they will make a triangle, they will not create a right triangle. 